What's up YouTube? This is the Hack RF Portal Pack, a handheld device that allows you to unlock the world of wireless signals around you. It comes with a 3.2 LCD touchscreen display, navigational buttons, and a half duplex transmitter which helps you decode and detect wireless signals of all types. Today we're going to dive into what made me buy this handheld and how you can benefit from using it. This is the unboxing gadget. Let's dive in and explore. Let's get it. Okay, so here it is, the Hack RF Portal Pack. Now, before we dive into the actual device, let's talk about this particular model and where I got it from. So, the official naming of this model is the Clifford Heath version Hack RF Portal Pack H2M. <laughs> long name, right? It's a really long name. <laughs> but basically, in layman's term, Clifford Heath suggested to change the design of the original board, which was the original Hack RF. His variation allowed the board to be used with what we have today and to be open source with multiple variations of it. So these variations are found on different websites. Um, you can find the main website, of course, is open source DR Labs. They have HackRFs. But I decided to go to like a custom website or a custom group, which is the Rabbit Labs. And Rabbit Labs does not disappoint. They have a collection of different of hodgepodge of different items from um, ready-made boards to mesh tastic ready nodes to upgraded batteries to all types of little things. They even, they even have stickers. So. If you want to get your Hack RF from a, you know, reputable site, check out Rabbit Labs. I think they're a great website to get started. Okay, so now that we have an idea of how and what the Hack RF is, let's dive into what comes with this particular version of the Portal Pack. Now, the main features of the Hack RF, the half duplex transmitter, and of course the open source design that allows the software, radio, and hardware to be customized to the liking. So, like I mentioned, this particular version is the Portal Pack H2M, and that's like a like an extra customization on top of the Hack RF. Now, additionally, the one from Rabbit Labs also comes with a 3W speaker amplifier, which is perfect if you want to hear the sounds, and an upgraded battery socket, which is a 2000 megaamp lithium battery, which is great because the ones on, let's say, AliExpress or other websites, they came with that 1000 megaamp, 1500, 1200 megaamp battery. So this battery is a little bit beefier and lasts a little bit longer, which is great. Granted, they also threw in an SD card, which is perfect. But when you do buy an SD card, please make sure it's a brand new SD card. You don't want to have an SD card that's already flashed or anything like that. You don't want to have any viruses or any bugs on your Hack RF. But I do advise if using this software or installing any of the softwares on this device, please be responsible and don't do anything crazy. <laughs> it's your responsibility to use this device in a legal manner. Now, I bet not here. I heard Unboxing Gadget told me, nope, nope, nope. You told yourself to do anything. Um, we're using this device for educational purposes only, and that's it, nothing else. All right, so let's move on to getting the software installed on the Hack RF Portal Pack. And luckily, there's a GitHub page that explains everything from where to buy, how to install, what to use, and everything. So it's a great GitHub page. I'll make sure to drop it down below. So the software torch we're going to flash on this device is Mayhem. And like I said, we're only using this for educational purposes, nothing else. Now, the latest version is 2.02. Thankfully, there's a website called hackrf.app, which they list here also in the GitHub, that allows the setup to be pretty seamless. So you can easily just plug in your hackrf, make sure the memory card is installed or SD card is installed, and then from there, everything should be pretty simple. We're going to navigate to the bottom of the page and select the latest stable build. Once that completes, it'll take maybe like a minute or two. You can safely eject your device and boot it back up. And then Mayhem 2.02 should be installed. So should be good to go from that point on. All right, so at this point, our portal pack should be set up and ready to go. So let's dive into some of the applications installed on the Mayhem software. All right, so the first one we have is ADSB, which is used for air traffic control. So you can pinpoint aircraft data and see certain aircraft locations. Now granted, if you step outside, you should be able to receive some of that data. Okay, next we have the AIS, which is used for tracking boating systems and water vessels. Um, I'm not gonna be using this one, I'm not near any boats, so. This one's not going to get used by me. APRS, which can be used for tracking certain systems. Um, I'm not sure which systems it tracks. Anyone knows, drop a comment below. Okay, next we have the audio, which is used for transmitting audio waves. Um, you know, just your normal audio waves, AM, FM, WFM. There might be a few others. Next, we have the Bluetooth RX, which is a low energy Bluetooth receiver. Next, we have the ERT meter, which is a packet radio protocol developed to read water, gas, and electricity meters. So not sure how useful this one is, but here it is. Next, we have the level app, which is a simple process which allows you to monitor levels in like a single view. POCSAG receiver. This one's unknown for me. I'm not sure how this one is used. I couldn't really get this one to work or even figure out how to use it, but. Okay, so next we have the radio sneeze. I think this one measures um, weather conditions and transmits them to the device. 
this one is the recon app which is like a full rework of the scanner app do all types of things with this one okay so next we have the search app which is kind of similar to a radar detector okay with the weather one just uses to detect weather signals we have the fox hunt app which is a pretty cool app it's kind of like a game um, you can use it to find other transmitters okay and then we finally have the proto view which monitors different frequencies and then we have the analog tv which is pretty cool um, it allows you to receive signal broadcast from an analog tv receiver if done correctly it should show the image um you know matching up to what you have on your analog device or your analog tv so pretty cool app okay so we talked about receiving let's talk about the transmitter section now once again it's your responsibility to use this device in a legal manner all right so we got that disclaimer out the way Let's dive into the first app. So the first app is Automatic Packet Reporting System. So this app allows you to send messages on the selected frequencies that you select. Um, the app also allows you to send de decodable messages to um, certain transmitters and receivers. So it's a pretty cool app if you want to mess with that type of stuff. Okay, so next we have BHT, which is pretty cool, but also dangerous once again. It will allow you to control streetlight using the signals that the streetlight uses, but it's here on the app on Mayhem software. So here it is. Okay, next we have BLE TX, which will allow you to decode data within a Bluetooth advertising packet. So pretty cool if you just want to learn about the different packets and how they receive data. Next we have POC SAG TX, which is like a pager protocol used for amateur radio. I won't be using this one. Um, don't really see a point to use this one, but you can use it. It's here. ADS, not sure this one works. I couldn't get this one to work. Um, maybe someone down below knows what ADS is used for. Next we have the soundboard app, which is pretty cool. Um, you can play and transmit whatever sound file you have on your device um, and kind of see the waves and the protocol on the device pretty cool next we have touch tunes which pretty cool mindlessly fun allows you to emulate the jukebox and diners and cafes so it's pretty cool if you want to mess around with jukeboxes and restaurants home is fun right <laughs> ads bs which is a pretty you know dangerous app and you probably really shouldn't be using it so it's it can be used to interfere with satellite positioning or navigation with aircraft control so this one probably you shouldn't be using, but it's here in case you want to just experiment with it. Next, we have TEDI. Not sure what this one is used for. Um, some of these on the transmitting section, I'm not sure what they're used for and how they're used. I know some are really dangerous, but some of them I'm not sure how they're used and what to be used for. And TEDI and LGE is one of those, or some of those two. Next, we have the Spectrum Painter app, which allows you to paint an image or a text in a way that appears in like a waterfall view on the device. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. These last six, I'm not going to fully go over as a name, pretty much say kind of what they do. Just just real quick, we got the Morse code. You can send out Morse code um, messages, Bluetooth spam, common sense. You can spam different devices with Bluetooth in them, GPS SIM. You can simulate the location. And then we have Jammer, which is pretty obvious. Um, you can jam different things. So like I said, please be responsible when using any of these apps on the HackRF. All right. So if we navigate back to the home screen, there's a few more other apps you have to capture, which you can use to capture different frequencies, which is pretty cool. And you can see those frequencies shown on the screen, which is awesome to me. And then you have the replay. You can replay the frequencies on your SD card or on the device. You have remote, which can do a bunch of different things. Scanner, which can do a whole lot of different things. Microphone, you can use to record sounds and different frequencies, um, which is pretty cool. And you can see me talking, you know, see the bar going up and down. Looking glass, it's a pretty advanced app. Utilities and settings also have a whole bunch of settings and utilities. So there's even some games in the utility section, like Pac-Man and Tetris, which you can play on the go. So pretty awesome device, has a whole lot of apps and different things to do. Cause I'm no expert on every single app or every single settings or utilities. I do know how to use a few of them, but there's so many of them that I, I, I just don't know each and every one. All right, so there it is. The Hack RF Portapack H2M, a device designed to do a whole bunch of different things, from field work, to signal analysis, to even messing with frequencies, to even playing games on the go. Now, my use cases are to learn about radio signals and how they operate. I think I'm gonna spend my time learning about what goes on with the different bands in my home. Either way, drop a comment below and let me know your educational use cases. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was the Unboxing Gadget. I'll catch you next time. Peace.